Good morning, folks. We've got earthquakes, and you are predicting them. We've got space weather and climate change on the docket, too, along with storm recaps and storm alerts looking ahead. But right now, we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. Really not much activity. A couple coronal holes sitting dark with the southern opening coming in now. No eruptions or bright sunspot groups, and the filaments remain calm as well, except for this mover on the incoming northern periphery. Not only does it have some size, but he can throw it around as well. As you might guess, solar flaring is low. The only active region facing Earth really isn't facing us anymore, as it turns out of view with looping umbral magnetic fields. We have nothing else like it on the Earth-facing half, and we're back to functionally zero sunspots. Solar wind is calm for the moment, and we are going to be expecting by the end of the week that to change. End of the weekend, be a bit more intense when coronal hole intensified streams are likely to arrive. Folks, there were two magnitude 6 earthquake events yesterday. Neither took a significant label from the USGS, but it's worth noting that the Japan event occurred near a tight earth spot low right on the convergence line, and there were four blot echoes that preceded the larger event by 48 hours. And folks, this was the alert map posted by QuakeWatch.net site member Terrence Allen. Certainly had the segment of the world correct. Coverage at 25% of the ring of fire is a bit high, but still means it could be significant if repeated to the 75% success level over 15 to 20 events. Up next, NASA says it has modeled stealth CMEs and apparently our name for them, Coronal Field Expansion Releases, while not as cool as stealth CMEs, is 100% accurate in terms of a mechanism. I went and pulled real footage from Soho Lasco C2. It is the slow expansion and snapping off that is the hallmark of those events. In this sequence, a number of filaments and solar flare CMEs erupt around the other sides, but at the end, the slow release top left is indeed the type of thing we're talking about here. This is vital because while we see the sideways eruptions easily, we do not see them coming our way. And without a filament release or solar flare, we'd never see it coming. Two bits on climate. First, the U.S. April report is out and will go over temperatures and precipitation. Top right is maximum temperatures. Bottom left is minimum temperatures, which somehow average out to the top left frame where everything is just much, much warmer. Only Noah can make data do magic like that. Bottom right, we see the precipitation map and who was above or below average. The climate story with real facts today, however, won't be released until June. A confirmation upon confirmation upon a confirmation of a sterling hypothesis. Winter danger and summer crop yields in Europe are driven so carefully by the North Atlantic Oscillation, it is indeed the primary factor outside of us actually putting seeds in the ground. The sun is the primary driver of the North Atlantic Oscillation phase forcing, and you guessed it, the coming grand solar minimum is a very bad thing across the pond. Anyway, that is a hailstorm engulfing Denver, Colorado yesterday. Pretty impressive precipitation wall blocking visibility. Streets and everything capable of holding the hail and water did so. Some of the hail was golf ball sized while others were much, much larger. If you look closely, you can actually see a bulge burst out of the cloud ahead of the main storm and add to the leading wave of the system. Incredible catch there. And remember folks, observing the Frontier 2018 it will be President's Day weekend. Registration for the conference opens in six days on May 15th, and based on all of your emails, I've got to recommend anyone dead set on coming be ready on that day. Top weather alerts remain in Oceania, northeast coast of Australia, taking it pretty good right now, and it is all on its way to New Zealand. We've got the rest of the world's weather and shots of our star to close. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.